In today's video, we're gonna compare three different Mola beauty dishes. A few years ago, I was tired of my pro photo silver beauty dish, and I noticed that a lot of photographers out there were using beauty dishes made by Mola. So I decided to buy a few and try them out. So I bought the Mola Seti, which is a 28 inch or about 70 centimeter white beauty dish. And I bought a Mola Rayo, which is a 16 inch or about a 40 centimeter silver beauty dish. My thinking at the time was I would have a more soft uh, beauty dish that I could use maybe for beauty. And I could have a more hard and dramatic beauty dish that I could use for athletes and sort of a more sporty or fashion-y, dramatic sort of look. And so that's why I bought the two of them. And when I got them and I tried them out, I liked them a lot more than my Pro Photo Silver Soft Light or whatever it is uh, that they call them. And then about a few months ago, a friend of mine, Stephen, he asked me for advice as to which beauty dish he should get and he only wanted to buy one of them and so I suggested the Mola Demi which is a 22 inch white beauty dish and I figured that it fell right in the middle between the two beauty dishes that I own. Now after using my Rayo and my Seti for a few years I started to feel like my Seti was just okay and my Rayo was probably a little too harsh most of the time. And so once Steven got his Demi, I really wanted to try it out. So in this video today, I'm gonna shoot the same model in a very basic sort of driver's license type of framing of a headshot. And I'm gonna test out the SETI, then the Rayo, and then the Demi. And the behind the scenes footage is actually shot by Steven as well today. And our model is named Christopher. And I'll put a link to both of them below so that you can check them out. So I started off by placing a Mola Seti with a white diffuser directly in front of Christopher so it lined up with the middle of his body and had it pointed down about 45 degrees. Then underneath, I added a white card for fill and you've probably heard this referred to before as butterfly lighting. So I made sure that the light was angled perfectly so that the center of it was pointed at the middle of Christopher's face. And finally, I measured the distance of the modifier's face to Christopher's face because I wanted to ensure that every time I placed a dish in front of him, that it was 22 inches from his face. Now, I could have placed each beauty dish a distance from his face equal to the diameter of the modifier. And this would have taken away any effect that would have been created by the relative size of the modifier and would have only meant that we would be looking at the difference in the picture caused by the shape of the modifier. Now, I know relatively speaking from experience that this 22 or 24 inch distance is pretty much where you wanna have the beauty dish most of the time, just because it's as close as you can get it in without it being in your way. And so I also felt that if I put the beauty dish the same distance from the model as its diameter, that the differences that we see would probably be too subtle. And I just wanted to make sure that they were pronounced so that we could get an idea more so about the character of each modifier and how practically it would look. So let's go ahead and start looking at the images from the SETI with the diffuser. And as you'll notice, this lighting looks very soft. I can't say that its characteristics are that of anything other than a softbox. It doesn't look that dramatically different. And then as I took off the diffuser, the light pretty much looks the same, surprisingly. Uh, we don't see any differences. And I believe when I use the light meter to measure uh, the volume of light that was falling on his face with and without the sock, it wasn't a terribly large amount of distance. But if there was, and I'm sorry, I just don't remember at the moment, I made sure that every time I took a picture, I was shooting at f5.6, and I used my light meter to measure exactly 5.6 and a half stops worth of light falling on his nose. What I would have expected to see with the diffuser was perhaps less um, specularity in the highlights and also more light 
uh, going on to the background, but I really can't discern much of a difference, at least in this test. Now, his uh, makeup was fairly matte. Perhaps if we had a subject with a more um, iridescent, I think that's the wrong word, but with a more shiny appearance, perhaps things would have been a little bit of a difference. So then I went ahead and switched over to the Rayo. Now for this modifier, I don't have a diffusion sock, so I only tested it bare as it comes directly from the factory. Speaking of which, they do offer accessories that you can put on. You can take out the standard disc and you can put in an opal disc, and that should have an effect on the lighting as well. I believe probably make it a little less harsh. So I've been thinking about getting one from my Rayo, but I just haven't pulled the trigger. So now as we're looking at the images, you can see that this lighting is very focused and very dramatic on the center of his face and that the background is also falling off rather rapidly. Now, a lot of the times when I photograph models who don't have a lot of pigment in their skin, their skin tends to blow out really quickly and I feel like this modifier is probably a little too harsh. I can see where this modifier is great for a dramatic sort of feeling, but at least at this distance, I don't very much like it. And maybe I would like it if I was using it further away uh, as a standard hard modifier and not as a beauty dish. But a lot of the times I'm just not exactly feeling this modifier. So moving on next, we took Steven's Mola Demi, we placed it in front of Christopher with the diffusion sock on, and we followed all the same protocols, making sure that the exposure was exactly the same, that the distance was 22 inches, and that the tilt of the beauty dish was around 45 degrees, and it was striking or pointed directly at the middle of Christopher's face. There is one thing you should know, and that is that Steven has accessorized his Demi with an opal diffusion disc. So as you can see right away, looking at this image, it is very different than the Rayo image. And I actually like its overall appearance and sort of the way that the highlights are and the shadows sort of sit there. It has a really nice amount of contrast to it. And then here's an example without the diffuser. And again, I don't see a huge amount of difference here, but at least you can judge for yourself. So let me go ahead and put examples from all three beauty dishes up on the screen. On the left, we have the Rayo. In the middle, we have the Demi. And on the right, we have the Seti. Now I can tell right away which one is my favorite, and I'd love to learn which one you like the most. So please go ahead in the comments and let us know. I can tell right now that my favorite is the Demi. The reason why is I think the Rayo, as you might have guessed from all the comments I've been making, is just a little too harsh. And the SETI just doesn't really make much of a statement. And I find that the contrast from the Demi is really beautiful. And I probably would have enjoyed the pictures that I took over the last few years a lot more if I had the Demi. So I'm feeling a little bit jealous, a little bit of buyer's remorse. And I think that Steven definitely has a very beautiful beauty dish. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for your time. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to learn more from me in person, I actually will be teaching again in 2021. And I've set up some workshops, which you can sign up for today at johngress.com workshops. I'll put a link to it below, and I hope that I can meet you guys soon. And until then, happy holidays, happy new year, stay safe, call your mom, all that good stuff, and I'll talk to you soon.